animals. They're very, very scary. And there's one outside. Uh, but yeah, they, they really scared me. Yeah, they're just very creepy. Any questions from Dame Dorothy School? Right, let's run up the side here and ask some questions. There we go. Yes, what would you like to ask? Um, my name's Millie, and um, did you ever feel like um, you were going a bit crazy when you were saying you were in a swimming pool then with the lights ringing? Now that is a very good question, Millie. I can tell that you've been paying attention. No, because the dog, uh, yeah, he's a bit balmy, isn't he, the dog? So he's, a, he's, he's, he's kind of a bit bonkers. And uh, I think he just lies on a lilo and reads War and Peace, you know? That's, that's, that's kind of what he does, so, uh, which is a very thick book. Uh, but the library is indeed in the swimming pool. We've got another question oh, from um, Dorothy watching it. Lyle, and my question is, do you know when the doctor um, goes a bit crazy? Well, well, he just said he's always crazy. He is, isn't he? Yeah, he's always a bit balmy, and right? He uh, does stuff like slap the face and all that. Uh, what? What? I, I think. I, where? Where does he get his mannerisms from? What's his favourite thing? What he likes to do in it? Slap the face yeah. Well, that's a good question, my man. He's getting to know his body. So he, sort of, he doesn't quite know where it's all coming from, how it all works. So it's sort of, you know, he's, he's just regenerated into this new body and, and it's, it, it's kind of taking over him a little bit. Uh, but again, very observant. And may I just say as well, guys, what a lovely welcome we got up in Sunderland. It's been, uh, it was a real raucous cheer. You've, you've obviously got a good set of lungs on you. Really <laughs> Couple more questions here. Yes, sir? Uh, my name is Ghazali. Who was the hardest person or the evil enemy, blah, 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 to fight? <laughs> the evil enemy, blah, 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 to fight. Who was, who was uh, to fight in that episode? Well, Prison Zero is pretty tough, but the Atraxi, you know, the guys in the big, great, big spaceship, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're just being a bit sneaky, I think. But if you look at that episode, there are four or five things in there that if you look very carefully, there's a few things. So when you watch it again on Saturday night, 6 p.m., you listen, good. Um, is, you know, there's about four or five things that you've got to pay really close attention to because they keep coming back in, and they're really important. Couple more questions, here we go. Um, my name's Jamie, and what football team do you support? Blackburn <laughs> Rovers, Jamie. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you're uh, Newcastle fans, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sutherland, Stevie Bruce, Kevin Jones, yeah? <laughs> Benny's scoring goals for you, isn't he? But Black Bear are above you in the table, aren't they, eh? And, and could I just say, Matt, you used to play football. You used to be a footballer. I did, I did, I did, yeah. I played for uh, Leicester City. Nottingham Forest, who got beat by Newcastle last night. Boo! <laughs> Another question. Here we are. I'm at length. Is, is your character that crazy? Yeah, he is balmy. Bonkers. Uh, man as a box of cats. <laughs> uh, we've got a couple from over there. Yeah, just shout your questions out. Shout them down the mat from there. I can't get to you. How do you meet the robots? Um, well, we have an amazing team of people um, who make things called prosthetics, and um, and they and an art team as well, and they build everything from scratch and they design it and everything, and it's really cool. Yes, over here. Here we go. Yes. Um, my name's William. Do you, do you actually hate apples? No, because apples are very good for you. <laughs> So uh, eat your vitamins and your fruit and stuff, yeah. But the doctor doesn't like them. Who's your favourite doctor and why? Oh, good question. Well, I love David, obviously, and I love Chris. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I love Patrick Troughton, who you probably can't remember. Um, but there have been so many good ones. Tom Baker, does anyone know Tom Baker? 
Yeah, oh, well done, you see, you were well schooled. Last question uh, from the school groups for now. We might squeeze a couple more in later. Yes? My name's Daniel, and what was it like to actually be in that um, episode? Uh, it was amazing being in the episode. We got to do loads of cool things and lots of running around and um, and and yeah, I got to sort of just go on the adventures with the doctor and that's always fun. Yeah, it's cool. The actual one. The actual one. Quite heavy. It's made of a copper. Yeah, and that's how he checks his readings. That is brilliant. Oh. oh. So are you cool? Blackburn Rovers are cool, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Right. Middlesbrough are cool, no? No! Sunderland are cool! Yeah. Yes. Fantastic! School children, give yourselves a round of applause. You've been sensational. Brilliant, you are brilliant. Thank you for making us so welcome. You are absolutely fantastic. Now, I bet the next questions are not as good as yours, but we've got to ask the press for their questions. So let's start with Kevin, press Clark. On. Kevin Clark from the Sunderland Echo. Hello, Matt. It's been more than a year now since uh, your casting was first announced. Uh, now we're at the point where we're about to go live. How does it feel? Does it feel like a relief or are you getting quite nervous about it? Uh, yeah, it does feel like a relief, actually. I'm just pleased that people are getting to see it because we spent sort of nine months doing it, didn't we? And, uh, and uh, we're very proud of it. And um, I really hope that people enjoy it because we put a lot of work into it. But it, uh, I'm, 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 I'm pleased that it's going to be on TV. I am. I really can. Yeah, it's kind of weird. When you're filming Doctor Who, you just kind of um, get into this sort of bubble, Doctor Who bubble, and you actually forget that it's going on television. Um, and then it's moment like, moments like this that you think, oh, it's actually going out. Um, but it's really cool to do these, this, these tours because uh, we get to see the reaction of the fans and the kids, which is, you know, the most important of all. That kind of picks up on the last thing I wanted to ask, which is, have you been taken aback by the reaction you've got? Well, you, I think this is what... Third stop on the tour, is it? Yeah, and I've uh, got completely unexpected. It's been amazing, and everyone's been so enthusiastic, and um, and they seem they seem to be going down quite well. I hope. Um, so yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah, it's been absolutely <coughs> wonderful, humbly. So this one more, Karen. Obviously, some of your family here today. That must be quite a thrill for you, is it? Yeah, I know, it's lovely. It's lovely to have my family around. Um, and we went to Inverness earlier on today, um, and my family were there as well. Um, so, so yeah, it's just really nice. It's about exactly, yeah, it's about sharing it. It's always lovely. Have we got Steve Pratt from the Northern Echo? There you are, Steve. Sorry, Steve. Hello. Could you just tell me a bit about the look of Doctor Who? You're not wearing the bow ties enough. No, I am not wearing the bow ties. <laughs> now, listen, guys, do we think bow ties are cool? Okay, okay. Put your hands up if you think they're cool. Put your hands up if you don't think they're cool. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. All right, well, okay. That was uh, nice, nice. Well, uh, yes, I, I, uh, I, I had a role to play in kind of um, deciding the, the costume. And I, I came in with a tweed jacket. I, I, I guess I was very keen that there was an element of the professor about the doctor. And, uh, and uh, hopefully that costume lends itself to that idea. And Karen, your um, costume, I mean, you see sort of that quick, all that uh, <laughs> um, Actually, um, strangely fine, because I'm wearing practical shoes. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, st uh, we've got uh, Whetstone and Jerome Hyde. I'm actually the youngest doctor, I believe. I, have. Um, I just wondered what it was like being the youngest doctor. Um, how long do you intend going on playing the Doctor? Uh, well, uh, being the youngest is, is uh, I mean, it's sort of irrelevant, really, because the actuality of it is he, he's 907. I mean, find me a 900-year-old that could play him. It, you know, it, 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 it's... But uh, it, I, I guess it feels like a privilege because I've got such wonderful parts so young. And um, in terms of going on to... I mean, how long's a piece of string? But, but I'd like to keep the role, and, and uh, I would like to keep playing the Doctor because... Brilliant. And we just have a one more question, and that's from Patrick Ward, Colliery Media. Where's is Patrick here? I'm up here. Patrick, shout it out. I don't really have anything to uh, ask you, but knock knock. 
Who's there? Doctor. Doctor Who. Ah, nice. What a way to end today. The only ones that are good ones, aren't they? <laughs> Thanks, Sunderland. You've been great. Now, this is what's got to happen now. Uh, we don't want to stamp it. Will all the school children stay where you are? And that you're going to be given a questionnaire and a picture of the doctor. So it's worth staying where you are for that.